hello welcome i hope you're doing well so now that i've talked about all the books i read in 2023 my favorites of the year and my disappointments of the year there's only one thing left really to talk about and that is what books i really want to prioritize in 2024. i don't make tbr lists i can't predict what books i will be reading in any given month because my my reading mood fluctuates so much instead what i do is every year i make a little list of books that i really really hope that i'll be able to get to at some point over the next year. I single out the books that I really really want to be able to say I've read. It's books that I'm really eager to get to. It's never a very long list. I usually manage to get through most of them. I made a video in November where I talk about the five books that I really want to read before the end of 2020 three or the beginning of 2024 those were the books that remained on the list that i made last year now that i have a booktube channel i figure i'll share my list for this year with you guys so that's what this video is it's all about the books that i want to prioritize this year i've chosen 12 books six of which you'll already know about because i've made a video where i talk about the six books that i can't believe i haven't read yet i'll link it on the screen basically i made a video all about the six books that i can't believe that at this point in time I haven't read. I feel like I'm super late to the game when it comes to all of these books and that was basically what that video was about and I mentioned that video because I want to include those six books on my list of 12 for this year. You'll find the video linked but just to make it super easy I'm going to go through those six books first before I get into the six books that I haven't talked about yet. So without any further ado let's just get straight to the books. I don't know what order I spoke about those six books um, in that past video, so I'm just going to take them in whatever order they're in on the floor right now. One of the books that I mentioned um, in that video and that I want to read this year is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I've heard fantastic things, I've wanted to read it for ages, even got the physical copy, still haven't gotten around to it, and I think it's about time. So this is one of the books that I really want to prioritize this year. Another book from that video was Jade City by Fonda Lee. This is the first book in a series, and I think since the whole series is out at this point, um, once I do sit down with this one and I read it, if I end up enjoying it, I'm going to go and get the other books and just finish the series right away because one of my resolutions for this year was to try and get through the series that I have on my shelves. I have the first book in this series and I don't want to start it and not finish it, so I need to, if I'm going to pick up this one, I need to get through the rest of the series if I do end up enjoying it. So once I do get to Jade City, I'll also be getting to the second and third book as well. Same kind of situation for the third book, um, from that video, The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwyn. This is also the first book in a series, and once I sit down and read this one, when I finish, if I do end up really enjoying it, I need to go and get the second one and get to it as quickly as possible while I'm still in the mood so I don't end up starting a series and then putting it on the shelf and never getting around to any of the other books, especially because the second book is out and so I want to be up to date with the series for when the next book eventually comes out. So these two books are kind of more than just two books because I will end up picking up the books that are out in the series of these two if I do end up enjoying them when I read them, but I don't count them. This is just book two and three of the ones that I want to prioritize, but the rest of the series will also be read this year when I do eventually get to them. Fourth on that particular list was The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safon. This is the book that I think I was the most, the most surprised at myself for not having gotten to yet because it should be right up my street and I'm actually really, really excited about reading this one. I don't think I'll have to wait too long before I pick this one up this year, but this one has to be read this year. I'm so excited for it and I I just, I need, I need to get around to it. So The Shadow of the Wind, absolutely high on this list of 12 books. <laughs> I have really high expectations. The fifth book that I mentioned in that past video is The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis. This is an author that I've been meaning to read for the longest time. Her historical fiction is so well loved among those who read and love historical fiction. This is the only book by her that I own, so I absolutely have to get to it, get my first impression of Ruta Sepetis. If I do end up really enjoying it, I'll dive into the rest of her backlog, but that's not something that I'm going to prioritize. If I get to more of her books this year, that would be great, but if I don't, I don't. This one though, I feel like I really have to get to just because I want to have I want to have read something by Ruta Sepetis since she's so um she's so well known and well loved by historical fiction lovers, and I have the book and it's just sitting on my shelf and it's a shame. So the final book 
from that past video that I talked about was Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. I talked about how confused I was about not having read this one yet because I read the first two books in the series and I loved them and I never got around to this one. So at some point I feel like I'll have to reread the first two books and then get to this one. Uh, but I really want to have finished that series by the end of this year. This one came out now uh, just about a year ago and I, I was I was anticipating it and I pre-ordered it and I haven't read it and it's just such a weird weird thing and such a shame so this one absolutely has to be read in 2024 probably also going to include a reread of the first two books again if you want to know more about any of these first six books that i've talked about then they are all in that other video um, that I mentioned that's linked so if you are interested go check that one out I talk a little bit more about those books there but now I want to get into the other half of this list the other six books that I really want to get to this year the six books along with these that I'm going to prioritize and hopefully by the end of the year I'll have read them again no particular order to these just in the order that I have them on the floor the seventh book then that I want to prioritize this year and really hope to get to actually actually the first book I want to talk about on the second half of the list is a book that I don't have yet because it's not out yet it's by Leigh Bardugo. It's called The Familiar. And I know very little about this book. This will be her debut adult novel, I believe. And it's historical fiction set in Spain, I think, a few hundred years ago. And there are magical elements to it. This is the author of the Six of Crows duology, the Shadow of Bone trilogy, um, for those of you who don't know. And I think this is the first time she writes anything outside of that. I cannot wait. I'm going into it completely blind because I haven't read more of the blurb. All I really hope is that I'm going to enjoy my time with it. I think it's a standalone. I'm not sure. I think it's a standalone. I think it's her debut adult novel, I'm pretty sure, actually. And I think it's historical fiction meets some magical elements. But I know nothing else about it, and I don't want to know anything else about it. All I know is that it comes out in April, and I will guaranteed be reading it in April. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is my most anticipated release of the year. There are a few other releases that I'm quite excited about, but this is number one on that list. If I read any of them this year, it has to be that one. That one is a priority for sure. I, I just, I have to read it. So Leigh Bardugo's The Familiar comes out sometime in early or mid-April. I can't wait. I'm pre-ordering it. I, I, I'm so excited. So excited for this book. Then on the list, we have All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remarque. I've mentioned this book in one other video. It was in a Goodreads Q&A video, and I brought it up when asked the question, what's a book that you can't stop thinking about? Even though I haven't read it yet, it's still on my mind constantly because I've read the first, the first like chapter or the first two chapters and I put it aside because it's one of these books that I need to, I need to be in, in the middle of no other books. I need to have nothing else on my agenda. I want to just sit down, take a couple of days and only read this book. It's going to be highlighted and tabbed because the discussions and reflections that they were dealing with already in the first two chapters were incredible. I think in order to fully absorb and appreciate this book, I need to just have nothing else to do. I just, I knew I needed a clear head. I need to be in the right headspace for this book. At some point this year, I really hope that I get around to this one. I have a feeling it's going to be really good and leave quite an impression. Next on the list is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I feel like I'm probably the last person on this planet to not have read this book. And it's one of these books that I've heard so much about, but no, next to nothing about. I think it's historical fiction. I know it's Greek to some degree, Greek inspired or based on Greek myth or legend or something like that but i know nothing else i know nothing yet i know that this book is so well loved that people find it incredibly emotional and i'm so excited to read this but i have no idea what it is i'm walking into so i'm really incredibly excited for this one especially because i'm going in so blind so i'm excited nervous and have quite high expectations then i want to at some point this year get to rebecca by daphne du maurier another book really that i can't believe i haven't read yet but I did start it. I started it in October and then kind of fell out of the mood for it and into a slump as well. So everything that could go wrong went wrong and I never got very far, but I do really, really want to read it. I think the beginning of the book was quite compelling and I was quite hooked. Although this is a literary classic, it has adaptions and I know the general gist. I've never actually gotten the full story, so I don't really know what it is entirely. I have some general idea of the story, but um, a very, very general one. I'm looking forward to actually finishing the book, maybe even also watching an adaption uh, and 
and seeing what I think. All right, we're almost at the end of the list. This one will be no surprise. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien is a book that I really hope and know that I'm going to be getting to in 2024. I've started The Return of the King, uh, the third book in the Lord of the Rings series, and once I finish it, I want to get to The Hobbit at some point this spring. This is a book that I'm really desperate to finally get to. I, of course, know the story. I watched the movies of The Hobbit when they came out in the cinema. I don't think everyone is very happy with the adaption. At least that's the impression I have, although I really like the movies. Um, but I've never read the story, right? So I don't know how good the adaptions are. I'm really looking forward to reading this original story, though. I'm so excited to finally get to it. I think I'm going to have so much fun with this one. I'm enjoying my time with The Lord of the Rings immensely, and so there's no reason why I shouldn't enjoy this one as well. I plan on slowly making my way through Tolkien's works and starting with The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit seems like a safe, good idea. Um, after that, there's also The Silmarillion, which I have a physical copy of on my shelves, and I hope to get to that one too at some point this year. I'm pretty sure I will, but this one is the one that I'm 100% prioritizing. I'm so excited! The last book on my 2024 priority list is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. She's ambitious. I have kind of been in a fantasy-specific reading slump for years at this point. I haven't read a lot of really intense fantasy over the past few years, but I feel like coming back and I've been eyeing the fantasy books on my shelves, and I have some really big ones like this one, and they've become really tempting, so I have a really good feeling about getting around to my big fantasy books this year but I want to prioritize this one. I know it's no longer a standalone, but it was originally written as one, so I know that when I finish this book, I'm not gonna have to be in a rush to get to the other book in this series. I think it's like a prequel situation, like a companion prequel thing. I don't have to read it if I don't want to. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this, that's the situation. This was originally just a standalone, and then the author decided to write more um, in the same world and kind of made a prequel companion thing situation. I think that's right, but as it is, it works as a standalone, is how I understand it. And that is something that's so rare in fantasy, to have a really big, good story be a standalone. And so I was really excited about this one when I got it, and I've been eyeing it now for a couple of weeks, and I'm just waiting to like finish all the books I'm in the middle of, and getting through the books that I was meaning to get through last year. And I feel like this will also be a spring book, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not going to force anything, but I'm really excited to get into it. I have no idea at, at all about what this is about. I have, I have no clue. I am walking in blind, completely blind, but I have such high expectations because people love this, and I'm really excited, wildly excited, to finally get to this one. And hopefully I love it, and if I do, I will go and pick up the companion, crossed fingers, that that fantasy that fantasy mood comes back in full force and I just and I just devour this. These six books are the first half of my list. Um, the books that I mentioned in the six books I can't believe I haven't read yet video of mine. And then these five books and also The Familiar by Lee Bardugo are the second half of my priority list for 2024. As I mentioned, these were no particular order. I'm not going to read them in any particular order. I'm going to read them when my mood for them hits. But these are the 11 books on my TBR shelf that I'm the most excited about getting to and my most anticipated release. So I have a really good feeling about getting to them all this year. The year is long and it is only 12 books, so the odds are in my favor, um, but we'll see. Crossed fingers. I don't want to jinx anything. So far this year, I've had a really great reading experience. I've read a few books and I've enjoyed them all. So if this is setting the tone for the rest of the year, Things are looking very promising. We'll see how this goes. But that's it for me this time around. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, if you have thoughts or opinions on any of the books that I've mentioned in this video, then feel free to share them in the comments. That's where I will see you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a really great day. I hope you have a really lovely week. And I hope that the book you're reading is a really, really good one. Bye!